to use firebase phone authentication in your applications the first thing you need to do is to connect your application with firebase for that just go to the top menu and click on this tool and choose firebase so here you can see our assistant window got opened from here we need to choose this option called authentication so here we have two options again first one is to connect it to firebase and second one is to add firebase authentication so let me connect it to firebase from this window you can create a new project or you can choose an existing firebase project which your app need to be connected so i am creating a new project because i don't have any project in my firebase console and i am naming it firebase port so now connect it to firebase so here you can see it is connecting We are successfully connected to Firebase. Now I am going to add Firebase authentication. So click on this button. So this will download some dependencies and uh, will make some changes in your build.gradle file. And these are the changes it is going to make. So just simply click on this accept changes button. So the second step is also done. We are connected and we are added dependency. Now just uh, open up Firebase and uh, go to console. So here you can see our project got connected. So just open that project and you need to enable the phone authentication in the console. So for that, you need to click on this authentication, which is under development option. Then choose this sign in method. So now we have the phone and we need to enable it. So you can see there are so many methods we can use here. Facebook authentication is there, email and password is there. So if you want any of this, you should want to enable it from here. Change this constraint layout to linear layout first. Then remove this text view. I will just add a edit text with the input type number and a button. Remove the layout weight for both edit text and button. So for the linear layout, I will add a gravity. and then change its orientation to vertical also just change this button's name as login let me give the id also for the edit text i am calling it et phone number and for the button i will give it a btn login also i think the linear layout needs some padding also padding just give about the 16 dp so this is our layout going to be look like that's all for the layout and let us move to the logical part so here first you need to declare variables for our edit text and our button so let me declare that first so we declared our variables now we need to assign both of them So it is ready now i will just add a click listener for our login button so here once we click the button then i need to fetch the phone number ended by the user so let me declare a string variable called phone number and get the value from predictor so now we need to check whether this phone number is valid or not means if it is empty or not so if it is empty i am just showing a toast message saying that enter your phone number you can check more many validations here but for now i am just giving and checking whether it is empty or not so if it is not empty what we need here is we need to verify our phone number so to verify phone number we have a method called verify phone number from phone auth provider of firebase so we can use that phone auth provider dot get instance dot verify phone number so this will take five parameters first one is your phone number and second one is a timeout value and third one is the time unit time unit for your timeout value fourth one is your activity which is main activity dot this and fifth one is the callback function 
so here i have given 60 and seconds which means after 60 seconds each and every 60 seconds you can reset your code so now look at this callback method we have two methods over here we need one more method called on code set when firebase fail to verify your phone number then this verification failed will be called so for now i'm just giving a log over here and we will display the message let me create the tag first log t also when firebase verified the phone number it will send a verification code to your phone number on that time this on code send function will be called and it will give you a verification id and this is the verification id also on some devices the verification can be done automatically and on some cases google play services will automatically verify your verification code you don't need to enter the verification code manually so in those two situations this on verification completed will be called and it will give you a phone auth credential so when we click on the login button it will send a verification code to your mobile number and it will call this method so here i need to show the user that the verification code is sent to your mobile number and you need to verify so for that i would like to show a pop-up to the user to enter the verification code so let me declare the pop-up over here i'm using a dialog and uh, i will set a layout for the dialog so it is showing red because i'm not yet created that layout so let me create the layout first change the root layout to linear layout and click on ok here we have our linear layout now let me add edit text and a button rename the button to verify otp and change the id also give a gravity for our linear layout which is going to be center and some padding also padding 16 pc so this is going to be our dialog look like here we have our dialog open now let me declare variables for the edit text and button that is there in the dialog declare a click listen for the button also and once the button is clicked i will just get the verification code sent to the user so for that i will declare a variable called a verification code again i will check whether it is empty or not and for now i am just returning if it is empty and otherwise what i need to do is i need to create a credential after creating a credential we need to sign in the user so sign in user so let me create a function for that so here we can use uh, firebase sign in credential method from firebase auth firebase auth dot get instance dot sign in with credential so here you can see it takes a auth credential as its parameter and i will pass this credential in our function so and when we come over here in on verification complete you can see we have a phone auth credential so we can call the sign in user method from here and we can pass this phone auth credential but when we come over here we don't have the credential but we need to pass the credential over here for that we need to create a credential so to create a credential we have a method called get credential from phone auth provider so phone auth provider dot get credential so here you can see it takes two parameters first one is your verification id which means this id and second one is the verification code so i spelled it wrong verification code and this will return a credential so here you can see now we got our credential and we can simply pass that to our sign in method so when you come over here and now we need to add a complete listener so now here we check whether our task is successful or not so if the task is successful maybe 
we will navigate to another activity or if the task is not successful for now i was just logging what the error is so to get the error we can call task dot get exception and get the localized message so here i will just navigate the user to a new page so let me create the indent and i will just name the activity as home page so this activity is not yet created so let me create the activity give a text view over here to identify and i will just name it home page because we need to identify it is home page so i think our uh, coding part is done when we try to sign in with our credential if the task was successful then we will navigate to the home page otherwise we will show the error so now let me run the application and we got an error the google services pl plugin cannot function without it means this google services dot json file is missing so to solve this error just go to your firebase console and click on this settings button which is near your project overview then click on project settings then here you can see a google services dot json click on this and it will download so after downloading the file just drag and drop the file to your app folder I just forgot to add country code with the phone number so for now I was just hard coding the country code and country code is necessary so make sure you add them so here you can see our app is up and running and click on login button see our verify OTP dialog is shown means our verification code is sent successfully and you can see the verification code over here and also it got navigated to our home page means it is automatically verified and you can see here i am just hard coded my country code in your application you need to use a spinner or something like that and show the list of country codes available let the user choose it from that so i think that's all for today so let me summarize this First of all, we added a click listen for our button and we fetch the phone number from the user. If there is phone number, we just call the on verification method. So it takes five parameters. First one is your phone number. Second one is the timeout. Third one is the time unit for your timeout. Fourth one is your activity and fifth one is your callback function. So we added one more override method called on code send. So if the code is sent to your mobile number, we are showing a pop-up dialog to enter the verification code. Now we will get the verification code, we will create a credential from out of it and we will call sign in user. And when the user code successfully signed in, we will navigate to a new activity and otherwise if it is showing an error, we will just log there. So that's all we need to do. So if you understand something from this video, please try to like the video and subscribe to this channel.